Hello, I am Jody Wolf, and you're watching Expose. It is September 15, 2017, at 2:05 a.m. Birmingham. Topic: The last blog I did, I lied to you. This can be much, much worse than what I told you. A lot worse. Let me give you a hint of how. In the days of marrying and giving in marriage and in a day of feasting, that's been interpreted back in Noah's day. When they were talking about feasting, they were talking about the crunching of bones. Feasting, they were eating people alive. This is back in the days of Noah and marriage and given a marriage. They were forced into marriage, the daughters of men, forced into marrying the watcher angels that fell. Again, 200 of them are marked as fallen, but we don't know the real numbers of those who kind of, well, that aren't mentioned. And if 200 of them ended up with a population and a billions. Wow. But the days of Noah, you they were forced into marrying these watcher angels. Watcher angels bought them. Watcher angels paid their fathers for them for interesting things that they didn't know, the art of making different metals, the art of doing all kinds of things. These beings mated with every animal out there along with their wives. So beautiful women wasn't enough. They had to continue it on. But then they talked the man, the art of splicing these and breeding these together so that man could do it. So man was interested, so man gave his daughter up for this information. Look, they were forced marriages, extremely forced marriages. And besides that, eating, laughing, marrying, eating, again, the, the crunching of bones. It was evil. And God says, in the end days, it'll be as in the days of Noah were, but worse. Everyone who is going to be left behind, I would chance to say that every single one left behind will be affected in some way by receiving some sort of pain, a very, very few will escape to, to be able to make it through it. Halfway through, three and a half years, angel will come down and take off the Jews. Two-third of them will die. One-third will be saved. But I believe that the two-third that died, I believe they will have spent the last, last breath in them calling out to Christ. And if they're going to do it, then you should do it. And if you do it now, you won't have to worry about that end day. It's going to be horrible. And then I'm going to tell you about John Kerry, who he went to speak with, who he talked to, and what happened to him. Coming up, but that's about four blogs from here, Jody Wolf Exposed.